what's up my name is aries this is aries atelier this is a youtube channel where i get to talk about bag making tutorials bag businesses bag tips and vlogs i do vlog sometimes yeah so today i actually made a genuine attempt like it was an honest attempt at the john lewis um, envelope clutch and this is what i was able to come up with i mean i was able to nail most of it but full disclaimer let me just say this now so nobody comes after me i really liked the design i guess it's all obviously because you actually have like the envelope feel like so the side kind of goes in like this so it's going to be a two-part video the first part is me trying to figure out how i came up with the pattern for this clutch purse then the second part is me actually making it so if you look closely at this okay you don't really see the error at first but it's more of a gusset issue that is the side where when you open it like this from the side this one sort of props up a bit so that now affects like the closing of the purse i mean i can still use it it's not noticeable but if it's something you want to make to i don't know like for someone or to sell i don't know i feel if it's going to switch hands then you may have to want to correct this if you have tried this pattern of clutch bus in the past please put your comments in the comment section i really want to hear from people who have actually tried this design or who want to try this design and can figure out the issue i'm probably going to make another attempt in the future but i guess for now let's just see what i do in the following minutes and sort of figure out okay where did the areas go wrong and what could she do better so if you think you have a tip that would actually help correct the structural problem we have with this clutch i mean it's minimal but still if you have a tip please share with the class i would want to hear what you you have to say and yes before i forget i want to give a quick shout out to Leity beauty they actually made these lippies that i have on now it's really nice it's liquid and when it dries it's super matte it doesn't stain so they actually have a collection of lippies that just came out i don't know i'm calling them. they're liquid lipsticks i don't know i'm calling them lippies <laughs> they're liquid lipsticks and they're really nice and there's actually a discount now i, I think it should still be going on it um a tube is actually like four thousand naira, but i think with the 10 percent discount you now get that amount knocked off so now all you have to pay is three thousand six hundred so if you're actually interested you can actually check the description i'm going to put like their information and all it's really 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 nice trust me you will not regret it for affordable makeup you get really good quality and also okay she was um the lady was also the one that my in my eyebrows i know this is not a beauty blog but i i always believe that people should look their best no matter what they do so this goes for everybody this is not a niche thing it's for everyone all right we're going to just quickly jump into the first part of our tutorial which is figuring out the pattern for this um, purse before moving on to the second part so i advise you watch the two though i just wanted to sort of separate them so you don't get things mixed up and you could actually differentiate the contents all right let's let's watch and learn and please pay close attention i'm going to leave the dimensions every information you need to actually make this purse happen i'm going to leave all the information for you um anything i'll put on the video it's actually definitely going to be in the description if you have any questions please put it in the comment section and i will reply all of you my loves as soon as i can all right let's start designing okay guys so let's get into the main project of the day this is our finished pattern and what it's going to look like so i'm just going to walk you guys through the process the material of choice is synthetic leather but that's for the second part but for the stiff knight itself i'm actually using chipboard um you can check this link to find out more about stiffness and um, linings and all but to start with our piece first i'm going to draw out 52 centimeter by 26 centimeter this is the entire length and width of our purse when it's unfolded so this is where we are now going to sort of carve out all the contours and um, corners that we have to trim off so i'm just going to cut the um, piece out here i am using my l ruler and my breakaway blade and this is our cut piece 
but first before we start working on it we're just going to mark out 12 4 16 4 centimeter again and 16 centimeter this is basically from the left to right that is our flap the top the back the bottom and under the flap so this way we actually you can visualize our finished project so i'm just going to do the same thing on both sides then join all the points so even though we haven't cut out the shape yet this way you can tell where the flap is going to be and where the bottom and the other parts are going to be so for the part where the flap is going to sit on i'm going to mark 5.5 centimeter from both ends and we're going to join that to the first line so basically that space next to it is going to be the bottom then we're just going to okay, let me write this out i'm doing the same thing on the two sides so i like to mark before cutting in case it doesn't look good because most of this is just brain work and freehand so you have to be able to visualize your finished product especially when it's something like this where you haven't done before so for the flap um i'm just going to find the middle if this is 26 then the middle is going to be 13 then i'm now going to balance my three centimeter right in the middle before joining those two points to the top of the purse so i'm going to draw it out like this and um, there's something i do especially when i have to cut like a curved piece and i have to use I have to sort of use a free hand I just fold it into two so whatever I do on one side is going to mirror on the other side so that way you are sure your work is going to be fixed in the middle so we can leave the edges sharp like this so I'm just going to sort of round them a bit so we're going to do the tip of the flap and the top of the purse I don't want that sharp edge I want it to sort of like slope down so this is why I like to fold my pieces in two so that since i'm not using any um, french curve or anything whatever i cut on one side is going to cut through and cut the second side so it's going to be exactly the same on the two sides so all those lines that you drew before you can use them to sort of fold it into what your purse is going to look like so even though we haven't really done much but you can already guess how it's going to come out so this is why i like to use this method a lot so now the easy part is over it's time to get into the difficult part now we're done with the main piece we're going to move to the sides basically the corsets so we're starting by marking out 16 by 6 centimeter the six centimeter is going to be the lower part. I sort of tried other measurements before and this was when I seemed to work out. So instead of drawing like a straight line, what I now did is I took the main piece to copy that angle that I already got so that when you lay it um, side by side with the bag, that's when you're finishing, it's going to sort of mirror itself. So I'm just going to trace out that um, slanted line so you're going to get a shape like this but for the bottom i struggled like a like a lot so i tried all the methods i knew but i couldn't fit it so i figured the only way to do it is just to do it street style so what i now did is i cut out only the top and i just left like um i don't i think this was like an inch there was no specific measurement because i knew i was still going to trim everything off i needed to get like a certain shape at the bottom and it wasn't coming out so what i now did is i marked the middle of that six so that was now three centimeter at this i'm sure that at the middle point is going to sort of curve so i was like okay let's do this the rough way so if you have actually tried this um type of bag before please share with us how you made your pattern because i tried so many methods and none of them seemed to work so i figured the only way to do it is to do it the amateur way where is whereas you put the you literally pin it there and anything that comes out you just trim off and that one you know okay this is exactly how it's going to sit so this was me after like so many tries and this was now the only thing i could settle for because i haven't attempted this type of gusset before and it's curved so you're not sure 
so what i did is i just went in and trimmed anything that was sticking out and right at the middle because it sort of overlapped i'm just going to trim it that's to remove any excess that's overlapping so that way i'm going to get like a v cut at the bottom and it's going to or that's supposedly supposed to sit well into it so this is what i now got after <laughs> after using my diy pattern so this is what i couldn't trace out at first but i guess we're going to have to work with this so when you put the two sides together you now get that curved bottom but i'm still going to go back and trim all the excesses there so that it sort of rounds out well any um sharp and rough sides we're just going to round it up so that whatever we do on one side we sort of just mirror it and do it on the second side so we're just going to check the um our pattern for the last time and see if it actually fits so i'm just going to clip it here i am using binder clips you can use any type of clips you have as long as it can hold your pieces together it's fine so we're just going to check this one more time and let's see if it actually fits and this was how i came up with the pattern <laughs> of the envelope purse what do you guys think about this did i get this right did i miss it did i get it at all and this is what our finished and purse is supposed to look like so to watch this um tutorial you have to click this video and go to the next one to watch the main tutorial itself thanks guys don't forget to like and subscribe